Has anybody in this video talked about how handsome you are yet? No. Well, I don't know how we got this far. I thought that's the elephant <laughs> in the room the whole interview. <laughs> Thank you. You look cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I make the boys do it with the boys and the girls do it with the girls. June is Pride Month. I'm proud to be LGBT. The other guys aren't, even though everyone thinks Keith and Zach are. Rain on me, Daddy! Drizzle down! June. There is way too what's much what's, what's happening here? Happening here. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> wow. Wow. Your chest hair is also like perfect. Keeps me warm in winter. But it's like not even thick. It's like beautiful. <laughs> what is this video about, Keith? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm feeling. Do you ever just draw boners on the face? <laughs> that I don't Just be like, what we need to do is <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a long, we're gonna lengthen here. <laughs> what if one of my colleagues draws a boner on my face? For some reason you seem to have an obsession with a, with a phallic. If as long as we're making my face perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever asked you to draw a boner on their face? Uh, that I've not been Could asked. I ask you <laughs> to just do like a little one, like right in the center of the forehead, just at the very end. Are you gonna kiss me? No, <laughs> no, you no. Me. You just looked Wait, at me. Do you feel you look, something? No, you looked did at me. You, in a very, you looked at me in a very weird way. It sounds like you felt something. This does feel oddly like the beginning of a porno. Yes. Yeah. Wipe off all your sweat. <laughs> Crazy how you say that. Are you ready for the lotion to prep your dry spots to make them wet? Oh yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you have to take care of me. <laughs> your elbows are already pretty wet. <laughs> <laughs> you just put so much on my elbows. Oh, your hands are Why wet. Why is that? Well, because I just put lotion on them. I don't kiss on the forehead. But if I kiss you on the forehead, I'm gonna ruin your facial. Yeah, you're right. You probably need to kiss me on the lips. <laughs> My theme was eleganza extravaganza. Wow. All of them had to be different, and they all had to be gorgeous. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. Holy shit. That is a lot. Holy fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. We went with sort of a gold, black, rose gold theme. I wanted my fingers to look more expensive than I did. Let's get into the bisexual part of the question. My first instinct is, do you want to kiss her? Much like any queer identity, you're still in the process of discovering yourself. So the one piece of advice I would give is to not limit or condition your romantic feelings. Doesn't matter the gender, doesn't matter the sex. If you want to be with someone more, then you really like them. And if you don't want to let them go, then you really love them. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. Keith and Eugene. This would be really good as a sexy gay couple's costume. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. You know what, here, let's adjust it. Yeah. It's like, what up? <laughs> let's f each other. I didn't think Bird ever really liked Ernie. He like, hate f him a lot. You might as well have an openly gay, very sexual couple on Sesame Street. They already have entire fists up their butt anyway, so. All right, they're puppets. Pride! Equality! Ooh, that's a long one. Gotta have some good hang time. Same, 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 same equality! Jude. The idea of masculinity is very complicated because especially as a trans man, you might feel that you have to adhere to traditional norms. Mm -hmm. But what we are finding is to be true is that your expression of your own idea of masculinity is far more important than society's definition of that. They don't have to be chopping wood in the forest or buying the blue bottled shampoo at the grocery store. I don't do either of those mm -hmm. things. Societal pressures are always gonna be there for trans men, for every man. Other people ultimately cannot define who you are. You are who you are. It's a fruity motherfucker. Hi. What school subject is the fruitiest? Gay history. Gay math. History, because it is full of dates. What's gay math? It's sort of like five plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> that was hot. Fell hot. That was hot. Get my, get my. Oh, the Jesus get, hips. Get yeah. Why'd you call him Jesus hips? Because Jesus is known for being a hot piece. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Oh yeah, his dick's probably crazy, right? America's ass. Whew. Wait till you see America's boner. I rest my case. Do you, Eugene, take Keith to be your bride? <laughs> Go get it, bro. In for the kiss. <laughs> not the dress, not the dress, not the dress. <laughs> Got him. 
caught him. It's just a skinny unicorn, it's a skinny legend. Gay people, they, they didn't react to my gay references. I got it. You look so skinty, hunty. I may have made a terrible mistake, but I look hot. Is that on my penis? Or no, about my penis? no, no, that would be my Ren. eyeball. That would be Ren one is in the taint. Okay. We're not, we, we don't really ever do that. I've done a lot of taint stuff. I'll bet you have. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> on camera. Yeah. Eugene, of course, bent over because he's Eugene. I feel great to be sun kissed by Eugene today. Eugene really kissed the sun right out of me. Welcome to the first PTA meeting of the year. Penis to ass. I'm flaming! <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong? Yes. I've never greeted a reaction by my fingers like that. Well, 